Merry Christmas YouTube. It is still a junkie 07. It is still Monday, July 4th. Happy holidays to you. This is the next installment of my beginner's makeup tutorial series um, per a request that I had from Miss Sydney. Thank you. Yes, I am really trying to knock out these videos for you. The first thing you want to do before you do your eyeshadow is you want to use a primer. The primer I'm going to use today and I, I always look so indecisive, like, did I not know I was going to do this video? Did I not know? Anyway, I'm going to <laughs> use Urban Decay's Primer Potion. This one is in Sin. Why do you want to use a primer for your eyes? Because it will prep your eyes for the eyeshadow. It will give your eyeshadow something to stick to. And I'm just doing this because my eyes are oily today. Um, it will give the shadow something to stick to, it will help your color last longer, and a good eye primer should help prevent your eyeshadow from creasing. And what do I mean when I say creasing? This is the crease. Where it creases is the crease. <laughs> and if you're not wearing a primer or if you have really oily lids, or sometimes if you don't it's just not a good shadow, you will put shadow in here and then throughout the day when you look there will be no color in your crease because it will have creased and the shadow will be gone. So a primer will help alleviate that problem or should help alleviate that problem. There are tons of different primers out there. MAC has primers. Um, they have an actual eye primer. They also have their paint pots which can be used as primers. Um, Stila has their new um, waterproof eyeshadow primer which is really cool. Um, and I like this one because it actually conceals my lid discoloration um, like I have a mole right here, I have a mole here, and in general just my whole inner corner area is a little darker than the rest of my lid. And so when I use the Stila's Waterproof Primer and Caramel, it completely covers all of that color and my lid is just one complete color. The Prime Pots do not conceal, the Urban Decay um, Primer Potion does not conceal these colors, um, but sometimes it will appear that it does only because these sometimes have a little shimmer in it. The Sin and the one they have in Greed has shimmer to it so that light kind of reflects off the color and does make it look like it's more even. On camera anyway, in person not so much. Um, who else? Smashbox has a primer, Norris has a primer, Elf has a primer, Smashbox has a, has an eye primer. Um, if you go up to um, Sephora store in Christiana Mall you can ask them for samples and they will give you samples to try so then you can see what works for you and what doesn't. Also Too Faced Shadow Insurance has a primer. And so today as I said I'm going to use Urban Decay Sin Primer. I'm going to just take it. It comes with the wand and you apply it. You apply your eye primer and my phone is buzzing all over your eyelid from your lash line all the way up to your brow bone. Anywhere you're going to put this is your brow bone up here. Wherever you're going to put shadow, that's where you put your primer. And make sure you blend it in like around the edges because this one in particular, I can sometimes see where it is and where it's not, like where it's blended, it'll be like a harsh line. And if you have a harsh line from your primer, your shadow is going to look like it has lines in it or it's going to appear to be patchy. It's always difficult for me to do this side. You put as much as you need or as little as you need. Always start with a little bit because you can always go back and add more. So you just want to make sure that it is blended in. Some primers, if you put too much, it'll crease anyway. So you do kind of have to just get a feel for how much is the right amount of primer to put on. I'm not liking how that's looking right there in that corner. Um, if you are putting color underneath your lower lash line, then go ahead and put primer under there. Um, I'm trying to think if I'm going to do that. Mm. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. I don't want this video to be like super duper long. And you be careful when you do this because you don't want to get primer in your eye. And you take either your ring finger or your pinky finger and just kind of blend that in. Well, not blend it in, but smooth it out. I 
And again, this will help to cut the shadow stick under here. And I put too much on this side, as you can see that white mark in my on my lashes. Okay, so you have your primer on. I have my handy dandy baby wipe right here, so I'm going to wipe off my fingers. And I have a dry wa washcloth over here. I'm going to dry my fingers. Today I'm going to be using my Inglot shadows. I am going to use four eyeshadows today. I'm going to use a color on my the first half of my lid, a second color on the hat, last half. I'm going to use a third color in the crease, and then a fourth color as a highlight. And you can just use one color on your lid and a second color in your crease. You can use one color, like if you have a duo, you can use one color all the way, like everywhere you put the primer, and then just put the crease color in the middle. Or a lot of people I see, they just have one, just a lid color, and that's it. <laughs> um, and I will add, I had, the way my lids are, you see this extra skin right here? This is what I call a slightly hooded or puffy eye, this extra skin right here. If your eyes are not like mine, then the techniques that I'm showing you may or may not work for you. Because you see some people, when they look at you like this, you can see like, you can see their crease, you can see like their whole entire eye, but for me, when I look at you, you see a little bit of my lid, you see a lot of this up here, and then where the highlight goes is right under your brow bone. And so, I'm going to use Inglot Shadow number 66A, this color right here, and I'm going to put that on the first half of my lid. When I use lid colors, I take them into the crease. This right here is my crease. And the reason I take my lid color into my crease is because I put my crease color up here where it's puffy. Your crease is in here. I put the crease color up here. So that way you see more of the lid color and also the crease color. Otherwise you might not see the lid color at all unless I'm looking down or have my eyes closed. And so I'm going to take this. This is a flat eyeshadow brush. A pretty large one because I feel like I have all this space to work with even though most of it is because of the puffiness of my lid <laughs> and so this is the crease right here so I'm taking this all the way up there do the same thing on the other side taking it again into the crease halfway over so it's going to be like the first half of my lid and you can just keep adding color as you go um, however intense you want it to be also different eye primers will bring out different intensities in the color but so that'll be like a whole another video I will try to remember to do that I can't make you any promises and I won't forget but I will try to remember to do that and so this is the lid color if you have trouble getting close to your lash line turn your brush upside down and put some shadow on it this way don't stick yourself in the eye especially if you wear contacts like I do because that is not a good feeling and you want to try and make sure it's even on both sides as best you can. My eyeshadow very rarely is even, but hey, sometimes that's as good as it gets. <laughs> so my second color I'm going to take, where's my second color I'm going to take? <laughs> this is Inglot Shadow number 71A, this one right here. And I'm going to put this on the rest of my lid. Let me move that. Hopefully I will not knock it over. We're at nine minutes. Oh no. And again, I'm taking it into the crease. And I will, I am overlapping it. And this is how you blend your colors also. You, so now, as you can see, there are two distinct colors. Try and make it even. So I'm seeing more color over here, and so I'll keep going back and forth to try and get it even. To blend these colors together, you can take that brush and just very, very lightly 
go back and forth over those two colors and it will blend them together. Make it as dark as you want. If it's too dark, go back and add that light color. Try and get it even. Sweep your brush very, very lightly back and forth on where the colors meet, on the place where both of those colors meet. And that's how you blend it in. So it will not look like two different colors. It should look like one color. One color with like different shades. That probably didn't make sense. <laughs> so as you can see, I took it up into my crease a little bit. So as I'm looking at you, if it's coming through on the camera, you can see some of that purple along here, like along the edge. So I'm still just blending it. I'm sorry this video is long. And the color I'm going to use for my crease color, I'm going to switch brushes and I'm going to use a fluffy crease brush and this is tapered which means it starts off fat and then it gets skinny. So this is just a tapered fluffy crease brush. So I'm going to take Inglot number 67A, this color right here, putting some on the tip of the brush. Oh, and also when you put your brush in the eyeshadow, then either tap it off or flick it. I've seen some people flick it. I'm not good at flicking or tapping or something to get the excess shadow off, which will help reduce the shadow from falling out on your face, like under here and on your cheeks. So you're going to take this, and because I put color in my crease and I'm putting the crease color above the crease, I'm going to go on the edge of where my lid colors are and just sweep this all the way across that top line where my lid colors are. And then you go back and add shadow as you want to, depending on how high up you want your lid color, I mean, I'm sorry depending on how high up you want your crease color to go. This is what they call the windshield wiper motion. Because it's like a windshield wiper. Ta-da! <laughs> and sometimes I will go in circles. Little circles like this because this actually helps me bring the color up or down. Whereas windshield wiper just goes side to side. Going in small circles will help drag the color upward and over and hopefully that's translating transferring through the video and this is not going like where I wanted to go and then sometimes I'll take the side of the brush in the shadow and I will kind of sweep it in the corner, the very corner, and kind of just connect this edge with my lash line. So sometimes I will do that. I'm going to turn the camera off. Well, no, I'm not. I'm going to do my highlight and then turn the camera off and do this on the other eye because this is already 13 minutes. So for highlight, I'm, since I'm in this palette, I'm just going to use this color here, which is Inglot 351A. No, I'm sorry, 351 Matte. And I'm using that same brush, but I did wipe it off on my washcloth. I'm just going to dip it in and put that right underneath my brow bone. And this will help, too, if you're trying to blend out this edge. You do not want to have harsh edges unless you're doing a cut crease and that's a whole nother video and I have not even really learned how to do that yet so I won't, will not be doing that um, and so that's how you do your highlight I'm going to cut the camera off and do the next eye and then I will come back with um, brows and eyeliner so thanks guys for watching